Metacosis Perfectionalis with a new topic, a comparison between folate and B12 deficiency anemia. We have talked previously about each one separately, but now let's do a nice comparison. Okay, quick question. Which one had neurological symptoms? Huh? Yes, B12 deficiency. Again, these are the symptoms of any anemia. We have said again and again and again, the MCV determines is the anemia microcytic, normocytic, or macrocytic. Macrocytic anemia has more than 100 femtoliters of MCV. Both B12 and folate deficiency are macrocytic. And also macrocytic anemia has two subtypes, megaloblastic and non-megaloblastic. Both B12 and folate are megaloblastic. And of course megaloblastic anemia will have also hypersegmented neutrophils and may have pancytopenia and may have indirect hyperpilirubinemia because these macrovalocytes get destroyed by the macrophages and will produce bilirubin. So, which one of them will have anemia? Of course, both of them. But please be aware of the fact that B12 deficiency can only have neurological symptoms without any symptoms of anemia. How about the hemoglobin and hematocrit? Both are decreased in both of them. Why? Because it's anemia. Which type of anemia? Macrocytic. Which type of macrocytic? Megaloblastic. So that's both of them. How about the MCV? High. Why? Because it's macrocytic. Reticulocyte count. Do you think it will be increased? No. Not increased. It will be decrease because the bone marrow cannot synthesize new red blood cells because it needs folate and B12 for DNA synthesis to form the RBCs. DNA replication is a process that eventually down the road will lead to the production of RBCs. So reticulocyte count will not be increased. It will be normal or decreased. Um, the reticulocyte production index will be less than 2.5. If you watch my video on reticulocytes, you will know what I'm talking about. What is the reticulocyte, how to correct it, you will know all of that. Pancytopenia, yes, it may be present in both of them. Why? Because they are megaloblastic, not just like macrocytic. Specifically, they are megaloblastic, so pancytopenia could be there in both. Neurological, only in B12 deficiency. Folate deficiency, never have any neurological problems. Uh, unless maybe if caused by drugs, but it will be side effects of drugs, not necessarily the folate. Homocysteine, both, elevated in both of them. Methylmalonic acid only with the B12. So, if homocysteine and methylmalonic acid are increased, this is B12. Have to remember that B12 both are elevated. That's cool. What else? How about achlorhydria? Yes, it can be present only in B12 deficiency. Every case? No, no, no. Some of the cases. The cases with pernicious anemia, okay, or gastritis will get a chlorhydra. Not all cases. Only gastric cases, stomach-related causes. How about O2 antibodies? Yes, B12 can have it only with pernicious anemia. Folate, none. Atrophic gastritis, usually chronic, will be with vitamin B12 deficiency. Again, specific cases with pernicious anemia and with atrophic gastritis. How about gastric adenocarcinoma? Yes, pernicious anemia increases the risk for 
gastric adenocarcinoma. Pernicious is evil. The word tells you the answer. I'm pernicious. Yes, there is increased risk of gastric adenocarcinoma. How about the serum gastrin? Serum gas gastrin will be elevated in cases of pernicious anemia, chronic gastritis. Why? This stomach is not doing its job. So gastrin will increase. Why? Why? Why the stomach is not doing its job? Let me produce more gastrin and more gastrin to try to influence the stomach and stimulate the stomach to produce more acid, more pepsin, and so forth. How to treat folate deficiency and B12 deficiency? Easy. First, you have to correct the underlying disease in both of them. If it's a medicine, stop the medicine. If it's another disease, try to treat it. And then in folate, we give folate, usually oral. And with B12, we, we give B12 usually intramuscular. I hope it's clear. It's so easy. Now, question of the day. What is the reticulocyte production index? Please let me know in the comments. If you'd like to know more, my previous video on reticulocyte can help you. And if you'd like to get the previous questions, go to my Facebook page www.facebook.com forward slash medicosis and please study hard and let me see you in the next section